All right, moving on to the next page. So now we have the basic cover, basic information, additional requirements completed. Now we're looking at your actual SAEs, where you're going to put the names, the year, um, how much you made into this area. And this is where you're going to have to make sure that you have your records and have everything ready to go. So if you started your freshman year, and now if you did it in 2013, what the actual year would that for be? Because how um, keystones actually work, it would be from your, when you started ag, which would have been in that September, to the end of December. So that would be four months when you are a freshman. Now some of you may not have anything. It might not happen until 2014. And so if that's the case, you'll start at 2014. Now, make sure when you're doing this that you look at the top. So this is my placement. So I didn't really get a job until the January or February or sometime in that month when I was still a freshman. But this also goes into my sophomore year. So let's just say the first one that I got was working food products. And I got hired at Lover's Concession Stand for the summer going into my sophomore year. So I, I might just call it Lover's Ice Cream. Then the job job titles and, dis, and responsibilities. This is where you're going to really fill it. Make sure that you're thorough here. It's telling them what you did, what you act, you know, what your title was, you know, when you worked. Maybe you worked during the weekends. Uh, maybe you worked a lot during the summer, but then when school started, you didn't work at all. Your unpaid hours, that would only be if you're like working on a farm. So let's say you worked for Lovers and Lovers, Andy Lovers, your dad, and he pays for you to go to different things. So you would work, but you won't actually get paid. But most of you will have paid hours. So let's say you just work 200 hours and your gross income, depending on what you paid, made sure that, you know, you know, you use with the money that you're getting paid. But I'm just working, not getting much. So I'm only getting about $1,000. But my expenses, I had to buy this apron and I had to buy, you know, special type of sneakers and I had to make sure that every time I had, you know, Andy Lover t-shirts, but they made us buy them. So I'm just going to make up, you know, I had an expense of $125, but make sure you put in the title, um, your description, but I'm not going to put it in for there. When you're done, make sure you hit add and nothing will fill up until you hit so that would be my first one. It is fine if there is years that you don't have anything in there. So let's say I worked with Andy just the summer and then I hated it and didn't want to do any more and I quit in September. But then I end up picking up another job at Burger King when I was a sophomore. And that job might have been milking cows. So I might put animal systems. Um, maybe it was at Hunts Burgers. So you put Hunts Burger Dairy, um, milking cows, however you want. Um, and I worked there 100 hours um, in 2014. Now you could have keep on working there, but that year I only worked 100 hours, but I only grossed $500. And my expenses, because I had to buy boots, I had to buy, maybe I just used old clothes and didn't have to buy anything, but I had to buy boots or something like that. It was $50. So I'm going to click add. Then let's just say I continue to work at Hunts Burgers and it was Animal Systems, or you can get another job. So when you're clicking down through here, you have to have it kind of related to um, one of these careers. So if it's like working at a farm, I'd put Animal Systems. If you're doing something with wildlife um, or uh, something you know that deals with natural resource, you put that. Food Systems, which would be most of you who have jobs like Burger King and that sort of thing. So, but I decided to stay at Hunts Burgers Dairy. I'm just going to keep on calling it um, Hunts Burgers Dairy. Uh, maybe my job responsibilities changed a little bit, so I'll uh, type that up. Maybe he thought he'd, you know, give me. Now I'm working, I decided to work there for the whole 2015 school year. So that would go from the spring of my sophomore into my junior year. And, um, I decided that, you know, he gave me a lot more hours. I worked 600. Now, the thing with the hours, make sure it, it you know, if you haven't been keeping your records 100%, 
um, up to date. Make sure they make sense because in the summer you're going to make work more hours and in the school year you're going to work less. So kind of average it if it has to be. There's 52 weeks in a year. Um, you kind of go through that. Usually about 11 weeks are in the summertime so you can get up to 38 hours then. So just make sure it's realistic. If you end up going and putting in 4,000 hours and it's not re very realistic, you have to kind of watch out for that. Um, cause they'll, they'll catch you on it. Gross earnings, you know, how much you've actually, um, made. And then you click add, make sure you, um, you know, add all those type of things. So then if I'd stayed there in 2016, but I might decided to change. So it just depends on what you've um, done. If you need to go back anytime and edit, um, you have to come back in here and click edit and then I can add some things in and you know clean it up a little bit so make sure again placement was entrepreneur but then I also kept one on my let's say I got some pigs so I got some pigs for this this last fair that would have been the 2016 now if you got a steer it will actually broke down to 2015 2016 because you actually had got the steer in the year of 2015 so it doesn't go by school year it goes by calendar year so keep that in mind so I got some pigs so I would click on animal systems I can name it what my pigs were or I could just name it Juniata uh, youth fair swine Okay, I could name it Marcus line, whatever. Your size and sco scope, let's say I got four of them. Then I'm going to describe what I got, you know, what they got, what they weighed. You know, make sure that this is pretty detailed. It can be detailed. Then I'm going to click add, and then um, it will show up in here. So, you know, just kind of keep those type of things in mind. So when you're filling this out, make sure description and job titles are very detailed. Uh, put your project name. Again, remember school calendar year is what we're looking at, not school year. So you're going to have to break up because, you know, if you started um, as a freshman, 2014 would be your freshman year into your sophomore year and then so on and so forth. So just keep that in mind as you're filling it in. Not hard. You should know this stuff. You just kind of have just have to put it in.